Hi guys, I'm here with auctioneer extraordinaire John Abbott and we're going to have a little conversation about auctions and um, how we can use them to get a great result for you. John, could you just give us a little bit of your bio? It's, it's pretty impressive. Um, yeah. Well, impressive I guess it makes me feel old. But, um, <laughs> I've been in real estate 41 Experience. years this we'll year. Experience. Experience, yes, thank you. <laughs> Uh, 41 years in real estate, started off in Australia, moved here about 20 odd years ago, so uh, originally came to New Zealand with Harveys, yep. funnily enough, um, and was an auctioneer with Harveys um, around West Auckland area, um, and then I moved on to Bailey's, I was the National Sales Manager at Bailey's Realty Group for a few years, and now I'm a freelance auctioneer and train auctioneers. So. And you were saying to us you've done uh, something, a staggering number of auctions in your time. 16,000 at last count. So that's, that's very impressive. Yeah, so you, you kind of know what you're doing now. Well, I think so. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, yeah. Good to know. Ho hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> so on that note, can you tell us um, what the auctioneer's role is in an auction? Well, I think that the auctioneer's role is, is to work closely with the salespeople that are handling the marketing. You know, that communication between the auctioneer, the vendor and the agents is very important. So we all know exactly what's going on. Ultimately, I guess the auctioneer's job is to get competition between buyers, ideally. Um, sometimes with auctions, though, you know, you may just have one person who's interested, um, but that's not a deal breaker. Um, you get one cash buyer at the auction, the auctioneer needs to have the skill along with the salespeople to be able to negotiate the best result on behalf of the vendor or the client. So Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And that's quite a skill I have to say. Uh, so what would you say are the main benefits of an auction versus you know other methods of marketing? Well, there are a number of benefits. I, I think the, the main one for a vendor, of course, they're, they're, it's an unconditional sale, which um, you know is the best form of sale. but. I've, I've always believed that an auction is buyer versus buyer rather than buyer versus vendor. In, in every other method of sale, effectively, and we're acting on behalf of the sellers, of course, but every other method of sale really is buyer versus seller. Yeah. Apart from an auction where it's buyer versus buyer. So, as you know with auctions, because you're very experienced as well, um, when the competition gets going in an auction, the buyers are more concerned about beating the other buyers than they are about how much the vendor might want for their house. Yeah. You know, that tends not to be in the in play. So, and, and from experience, I know that buyers will pay more to beat another buyer than they will just to keep the owner happy. Yeah. So as you know, if you say to a buyer, look, the owners want an extra 10,000, it's, it's not very convincing for the buyer. The buyers tend to say, well, I don't care what they want, here's my offer, <laughs> correct? I don't want that. <laughs> Where, uh, no, whereas in an auction situation, if you say to a buyer, give me another 5,000 or I'm going to sell it to these people, yeah. then they're much more likely to, to yeah. you know, bid and pay, pay a premium. Absolutely. Fantastic. Um, so when leading up to an auction, ven uh, vendors often say to us, well, I don't know where to set the reserve. What, mm -hmm. what, what would you be your advice around setting a reserve? Well, it's something that needs to be discussed, obviously, with, with you, um, because you've been working very closely with the buyers, so you've got a feeling of, of where the buyers are at price-wise. Um, I, I don't think the, the reserve per se has a huge impact on what price is going to be achieved because you, you could set your reserve at any price you like. The, the market is the market. So the buyer is going to pay the market value, hopefully a little bit of a premium along the way. Um, the, the reserve is confidential between us and the owner, so nobody ever knows what that is. However, as the auctioneer, I need a written instruction as to where I can sell and where I can't sell. Um, I don't mind setting reserves on the on the higher end of the scale, because that's that's the job. Um, yeah, everyone wants a dream price, and, and that's our job is to yes. try and achieve that dream result. Yes, yeah, so. and I and I don't prescribe to the theory of you know set your reserve low, put it on the market early, you know announce that you're selling it early in the piece to try and get that competition, yeah. because the the risk is if you don't get that competition, then the poor old owner gets stuck with whatever they've got. So yeah. uh, it, I guess our job. You know, between us is to make sure that we get the buyers to pay the maximum they're prepared to pay. Yeah. That's really our job at the end of the day. If the owners are happy to accept that, then terrific. Let's get on with it. Now, what we're finding um, with auctions, um, you know, in a, in a hot market when you've got two or three bidders, the price takes care of itself. Mm -hmm. But as you said earlier, um, you know, often we might just have one bidder at an mm -hmm. auction. How you handle that sort of scenario? 
Well, I, you know, one, one is enough. Obviously, you can't get the competition between buyers and other buyers if, if there's only one party there in a position to bid at the auction. You may have conditional parties as well, and, that, and that's a fallback afterwards if we don't get a price that we think is fair and reasonable for the owner on the day. Um, but I, I think that the, the first thing to do is try and get an unconditional sale at the best price. Um, if that doesn't work at the auction, well, again, it's not the end of the world, we'll just pass it in and we'll open it up to other, other okay, conditional yes. parties. Yeah. Um, but I think that that's where it's very important for an owner of a house that they have an experienced agent and an experienced auctioneer. Absolutely. Um, you know, enthusiasm is one thing, but nothing beats experience. And you know, we've, we've been involved in thousands of yeah. negotiations. So, and and again, you know, we, we're fair to all parties. Um, we want the buyers to be happy, but most importantly, we want the owners to be happy because they're the ones we're acting for. Absolutely, so. that's mm. right. Um, and just sort of on that note of um, bidding at an auction, would some um, some people will vendor bid? Will you vendor bid on behalf of the vendor to sort of keep an auction moving along? Or? Yeah, we do reserve the right, or I reserve the right as yes. the auctioneer, yeah. and it's part of the rules of the auction. And we, when we're quite upfront about it, yeah. uh, we announce at every auction that I may place a bid on behalf of the owner, uh, but it, it would only ever be below a price that they're going to accept. Yeah. Um, you know what auctions are like. Everybody yes. wants to have the last bid. A lot of people don't want to have the first one. So, yeah. so occasionally I will open the bidding on a vendor bid, but we'll, we'll declare it as a vendor bid. Everyone's quite clear. Um, but you know, most most auctions that you've done, uh, you know, you've got pretty good competition. So you know, the use of the vendor bid is you know not yeah. that necessary. Not but but it but is a, it is a right option. that we reserve. Yes. yes. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. And a lot of people. Um, when they think about an auction or, or from previous experience with auction is that auction costs a lot more than any other form of marketing and that in fact is not the case. Um, with our programs and with our marketing um, the only difference is the auctioneer's fee and because we always do on-site auctions we um, you know, obviously have to charge a little bit for the auctioneer's time. And I want to thank you for your time today, John. It's I think it's amazing. money well spent. I think it's money well spent too. Yes, especially absolutely. when you're getting this kind of experience. <laughs> 16,000 auctions, you don't get much more experience than yeah. that. Well, hopefully if you guys go ahead with uh, these guys, uh, it'll be 16,001. Excellent. Look forward to it. Thanks so much, Fantastic. John. Fantastic. No worries. Nice chatting. <laughs>